Let's start with concatenation and let's take the example from the slide with Angelina and Brad. So we have string number one, S1 equals open quotation, Brad, close quotation, and S2 equal, well, the operator for assigning something to a variable, Angelina. And let's slice the first string and let's slice the second string and let's combine, concatenate the two strings. So print S1 and we'll go until the index 3. Or plus is the operator for concatenation. S2. And we'll go from the first until the last. And the program returns Brangelina. Now let's try concatenating a string and an integer. So we can take the example also from the slides. Birth year equals 1990. And let's print, print, I was born in, and let's concatenate the variable birth year. And let's see what happens. The program returned an error on line one because we have only line one. And it says type error, cannot concatenate string and int objects. Great, so we know how to convert integers to strings. So let's print I was born in uh, 1990, but let's um, convert the year 1990 to a string. Print I was born in plus string that function birth year and we can concatenate period at the end of the sentence. Let's see what happens. I was born in 1990. We can also add uh, another variable current year 2018 and try print I was born in string birth year I was born in 1990 and am currently string current year minus birth year and am currently years old. Let's see if we made a mistake or not. We didn't. I was born in 1990 and am currently 28 years old. Okay, let's start now using the function len. We said that the len function counts the elements in a string, well, the characters in a string. So, print len from, let's say, spam is four. Great. Let's try now the function len 
on S2. Print len S2 8. Great. Now we can try some methods we've learned. Like for example, let's try upper first. But first we have to define um, string. S equals, and let's put in this variable, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. So let's try S, print S on upper and the program returns the whole string in capital letters. We can check that our original string did not change. Let's try out the replace method. So print replace and let's replace lowercase letter O and let's, let's replace it with for example XOX and let's do it two times. We are all low, we have one, two, three lowercase letters O in, in this string. We just want to do two replacements. And the program returns the first and the second letter O replaced with XOX. The last O isn't replaced because we defined the third argument to do the replacements only two times. Let's count now for example lowercase letter t. So print s count lowercase letter t and let's start from the index 10 and let's go to index 20. So just from the index 10 till the index 20 and see how many times the T is found in our string. So let's see what happens. We found T two times. Let's try the same method but let's find the letter O. So print s count O and starting index 10 20 is the ending index. Let's see what happens. 0 Okay, uh, we can now try the method find. So let's type print. This is called on, I mean find is called on S. Find, what are we going to find? Let's try with the T again. And let's try again with the starting index 10 and the end of index 20 and see what happens. The method returns 20, which means the, the number of the index where the first time the letter T appears after starting from the position 10. We can now try the strip method. Let's put S4. Let's put spam, but we'll put a space 
before and after the word spam. So at the beginning and the end of the string. And let's now call the method strip on the S4. Print S4 strip. And let's see what happens. It returns the string without the white space at the beginning and the end of the string. Okay, now we can try the same, we can try the same method, but let's try removing the n from our string s. So print s strip and here we'll define the capital letter n to be removed if it's found at the beginning or the end of the string. And let's see what happens. The program returns. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. The n is missing. Okay, uh, the last two methods we can try are split and list. So let's try our method split on the string s. Print s split. Let's see what happens. We get a new list with one, two, three, four, five elements. And the separator was that was used was space. We can also assign uh, this result to a new variable. Let's call it list. And we'll put s period split. Let's see our list print list. We have the list assigned to the variable named list. Now we can try the, the join method. In the join method first we have to define what the uh, delimiter is going to be. Let's say we want the delimiter to be tabulator and we want want this list that we have just uh, created to be uh, joined, the elements of the list to be joined with the tabulator. So let's say print. First we define the string that we want this, these elements of the list to be joined. So this we said is going to be tab. And we call join on tab and we put our list that we have just created. Well, let's see what happens. We get a string that has the elements of the list and this, the, the delimiter that was used is the tab. We can also try print in using the minus sign as the delimiter. So we put minus, call the method on this, call the method on this uh, string, and put our list. And let's see what happens. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Well, actually, nobody minus expects minus the minus Spanish minus Inquisition.